Hey gang, Derek here from Christmas Dreams. I have in front of me here the Majestic Theatre, a lovely but unfortunately discontinued item from the Limax Sight and Sounds range. Now you could be forgiven for thinking that this is the star of my show tonight, but it isn't. This is the star of my show. What I've done here is I've taken a standard phone charger USB adapter and I've put a metered output with a USB cable attached which is drawing which is powering this this item. So let's turn it on and see what it does. You've got some sound. You've got lovely color changing LEDs on the top there. You've got a marquee that's lighted with um, some ER lighting and you've got people moving around and photographers flashing away. So this item would draw a fair amount of power you would think. There go the photographers flashing away. Lovely feature. But let's come back to our hero of the story. Here you've got the voltmeter in blue showing that it's drawn it's gone down from 5.19 when it was off. Let's do that again. See, so it's about 5.2 when it's off and zero on the amperage. And let's turn this on and now you've got 5.2. 06 volts and somewhere around 2, 20, 0.24, 27, 29, so roughly between 0.25 to 0.3, let's just say. So since the, amp, the adapter is rated at 1000 milliamps, you can see that even though this item which has so many features is only drawing about 25 to 30 percent of the capacity of your adapter and that's basically wasting money you don't need that much of a buffer and so if you were to put another usb cable to this output here you could then power some other applications that are equally low powered the Limax lights take less than 100 milliamps. Most of the table accents are drawing about 120 to 200 milliamps maximum. The carnival rides are taking around 600 milliamps. So you can see that you have a lot of capability and capacity in your adapters, which is usually not being used. And one of the reasons why it's not being used is that most people aren't aware of these numbers to use them confidently. Now I'm very safety minded. I've got two grandchildren and I definitely don't want my house burned down. So therefore I'm always conscious to stay well within the limits of my electrical appliances so that I don't get overheated situations, situations where they get over hot or uh, can fuse out. And uh, understanding how to use a meter is very, very important, both as a safety function as well as a money saving function. So here we go. I hope you've learned something from this video and uh, that you will follow me on how we can utilize more technology to our good. Have fun, Derek, over and out.